well people I've just come just arrived whatever the appropriate term is I'm just looking at some of these gravestones don't know whether they're damaged and put to one side um, so this is st. Peter's in Fairfield and this is bigger than St Anne's on Bath Road quite a bit bigger so I've got here just as the sun's going down to me I think that's an important time you can actually see up there somewhere is the moon but I can't see it on here so it will be pitch black pretty quick tonight and that'll be when I'm actually doing the spirit box session now this church I think probably carries on round the back the graveyard I'm not 100% really all light. Wonder if that used to be a gas light. Well, at least it's not raining. The plan was to come yesterday. I couldn't do it. Too windy, too rainy. Bit of a nightmare to be honest but <laughs> I'm looking at these now and I know what I'm in for already I can tell <laughs> I was getting a really bad vibe before I come and um, I didn't know why I still don't know Well, I didn't know it went all the way down here. That's pretty, uh, pretty much bigger than the last place I went. Trouble is, his houses down the bottom. Don't really want to be disturbing people. So right now, I can gather there's probably some really, really old stones in here. Probably on par with St. Anne's when I went there. Look at that. It's like someone's tried lifting the top off. Absolute fucking idiots. Excuse my language. Yeah, I'm just going to have a look round the back as well. You've got to have an ominous spooky tree. It is an absolute must when you come to a graveyard. These people come in. And I'm just walking round nice and leisurely. Like you do. So this is round the back guys. There's quite a lot here. Just wondering where I can put my things down. If there's people about. I don't really fancy uh Chasing after it when it walks. Nice collection of uh, logs if anyone needs to log in, you know. I'll throw some rubbish humour in, considering where I am right now. 
For all the spooky stairs. windows let's get that church tower in so I'm gonna go around in a circle if we can get back round that way I think at some point it'll be interesting when I'm running that device because I'm obviously going to come round the back here um, see what happens um, I'm getting peculiar vibes, I'm not going to lie I don't know whether it's because it's bigger than the last place but I've always been wary of this one you know, when, whenever I go past it which I've not done for a, for a while to be fair I don't know how far that goes on, but I bet it goes on a distance because there's quite a bit of land back there. This looks interesting. Just going to drop this a second. So, what I'm thinking, this one's fenced in or fenced off. I can only think there's some importance about this one. Can't really see. Hmm. Interesting. So the research I did on this church and this churchyard um, it's mentioned as a parish going back to 1200s which in itself if you think about it is seriously old seriously um, and the thing that gets me and before I read the history on this place, I knew the village green at the front, that was a giveaway for me. Not a warning, not a red flag, but I just knew this area where this is, there's something about it in a way. Um, there's a ton of history, that's what I think, that's what I feel, a ton of it. I think there's a lot of heartache, a lot of joy, good times, bad times, all been seen here. Um, I know just out of this entrance, around the other side, you go back on what's called the common. So if you come out of here and turn left, you start heading down past the golf course, into Dove Holes. Well, it's not far, probably talking what? Less than two minutes in a car out of here, and snow used to be deeper, a lot deeper than it is now. And there's actual photographs online of uh, prisoners of war digging the snow off the common, and the snow was so deep you would not believe it. I think there was cars buried, so it's no joke. Don't mess around up here. So I've come back on myself now. Um, back at the front, or coming to the front. Yeah, I'm still getting that vibe. That vibe is... <laughs> it's seen a lot. That's what I'm thinking. It's felt a lot. But does it know a lot? I presume it does. And you know, now I'm actually here. Hello, hello, light. 
I didn't even know that were up there, but that'll come in handy. So I would have come last night, but like I say, weather was against it. The moon's up there, but you can't see it on here. It's a bit of a shame. The light's fading fast. And where I'm stood, I didn't even realise because his bench is here. I'm actually stood on gravestones. So I'm going to move. Because I don't really want to be doing that. So I hope this video turns out okay for quality. Um, I am filming it on my phone. I think it's quite adequate really for what I do. And you know, of course you can get better equipment, sophisticated cameras and all the rest of it, but the way I see it, that'll come in time. There's no rush. And I'm not here trying to manipulate anyone's thoughts or beliefs on um, things I've actually caught before. What's freaking me out right now is <laughs> I've just seen someone appear behind me. An actual person dressed in red. So they've obviously come from the, the houses back there. It's the last thing you expect to see when the sun's going down where there's a graveyard. But then, yeah, I'm here, so I guess there's that. People might be like-minded. So that'll be the entrance in, obviously. Bit of a giveaway. Um, ominous tree again. That's a cool tree, that. I'm sorry, but it really is. But if you were freaking out it would no longer be a cool tree. Right now I'm fairly placid. I know the light's going. I'm not fussed about that. Um, don't know whether I need to put the uh, backlight on the phone so it lights the place up. I don't really want to be drawing attention to myself. So I'm just trying to fathom out how long this has been running, about 12 minutes I think, ish. Um, spirit box, what can I say? I don't really know what to say about that. I don't know whether I'm going to get anything on it. The last few times I've used it, up Grinlow Woods and St Anne's Church, it really did surprise me. I got activity and replies that I didn't expect and I still can't get my head around them. So tonight will be interesting. First time I've ever been here. Don't know whether it's been kind of investigated before. Don't know what to think. I've not seen any videos of this place investigated before. I'm just going to flick this light on when I can find it. So it is on now, I think. Yep. So when I've got the box running, I'm not just going to stand in one place, obviously. If something starts drawing my attention or directing me to a certain area, that is where I'll be going. Um, anything could happen in a place like this, I'm not going to lie about it. I've had far too many thoughts about something following me back. Hitchhiking, they call it. It has been known, it has been proven to affect people. Right now though, I'm not really that bothered about that. Um, some investigators, they will provoke spirits to get a reaction, that's something I'll never do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Reason being, I don't fancy legging it, for one. I don't fancy ending up on the floor. I don't fancy uh, 
being kicked or whatever they do, scratch, because they do do that apparently. I have seen that. No, that's not for me. But even if you're nice, you're polite, you can still get a spirit or an entity that can lash out. That's been known. I don't know why. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go back round the back. Yeah, so going on about the history again. Used to be a parish, mentioned going back 1200s, stuff like that. Um, then sometime later, the building, the church, I think it was knocked down, rebuilt. And I think Fairfield was built around the focus of this church, this green. And I've just seen two more people. I don't know what's going on. There's another door. I like these doors. Oh, there's another one. Yep. Cool window. Yeah, people are probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, they'll certainly be wondering when they start hearing that spirit box. But I don't think anyone's going to be loitering around then. Hopefully. I'm really curious how far back this land goes. I don't know whether to go and have a look. I think I might as well. So, obviously, I want to give a big shout out to anyone who's a member of the group. You're all brilliant, you know. Anyone who's subscribed to Facebook, who watches the videos from the group, you're fantastic. I hope the content interests you. Um, so yeah, I'm giving you all a big shout out for it, for being a part of it. I know you're not here, <clears throat> excuse me, but you're sharing the experience in a way and it does go back further. Look, I love cutting myself off mid-sentence. Blimey, look at that. I'm thinking they're going to be probably newer graves, I don't know. They're certainly more packed in, they could be older. I don't know. So this is part one, there is going to be a part two. I'm just giving you a quick glimpse, look round. As you can see, it goes right back there. There's a road there, that'll be the common. So when I've got the box running, I um, I can walk further in. It's going to be absolutely pitch black. But I'm a big boy, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm just going to see how long this has been running for. Not that long, I don't think. Give it a few more minutes, or another minute or so. Just watching the sun fade completely. But it's a nice church, this, a nice churchyard. I don't feel bothered that I'm here, just about to do what I'm gonna do. That's diminished completely now. But it's amazing how quick it can return when you do hear certain things on the box. So, I'm going to take some photographs at the end of the session, like I did previously at the other church. 
see what happens. I'm going to end this video now. If you watch it, thank you very much. And please watch part two. Thank you. Goodbye.